Are you excited for a romantic Valentine's Day dinner? I'm so excited. Oh my god, me too. Hey Ben, we're gonna be back in a little bit, okay? Whoa, dude! Shit. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, that's fine. Uh, should we give you our name or just show up? Um, probably like 20 minutes with parking. Taylor? With a Y. Ah, I stuck in a bottle! Okay, the waiter. Okay, start over. Do you have a key? <laughs> okay, first of all, it wasn't the waiter, it was the uh, bright light hostess. <laughs> and we asked how long the wait was gonna be, like if it's worth waiting or not, and he said 10 minutes. What do you say? <laughs> Oh, more than 10 minutes. He's like, more than 10 minutes, and so it's hard. I don't know what the rest of this is. <laughs> and we talk about the man who told us it's gonna be more than 10 minutes, and we just thought that was really vague because, like, that could mean what? And then you said five years. <laughs> I don't remember the whole thing. That was Taylor's version of the funny story that happened at dinner tonight. Whenever there's this light in my face, it is Dude. hard to talk. Oh, whenever I push the button. God, we're so dysfunctional. We went to dinner, there was a really long line outside. So we asked, hey, how long is it gonna take? And he said, more than 10 minutes. And me and Taylor just said, okay. We got outside, we started thinking about it. We're like, that's very big. From the city where the booty's all tight. Rolling threes, that's a train all night. <laughs> I finished early and they said that shit was sight. But they robbed me in everything in sight. <laughs> that's all I got right now. That's pretty sick though, huh? <laughs> Oh, it's getting wet, hurry. Oh. Hi. We're trying desperately to get the Ella River video done this week, but as you guys can see, there's rain clouds forming out there, unfortunately. According to the weather yesterday, it was supposed to be sunny for like a long time, but then today, there is a 30% chance of rain this evening. It was 70% chance earlier, so maybe it's just gonna like slowly go away. I do all sorts of Adidas unboxing videos. You know, I open up boxes of shoes, I show them to you, and then you guys are like, wow, cool. I wanted something a little bit different. Here's my shoe collection as of now. Some of those back there are used, but most of these are the brand new shoes that I got in my last Adidas box. I thought it could be cool to do like a little review, like try each one on and let you know what I think about, whether they're good for skating or just living. I switched my other camera, the 5D Mark IV, just because it's been a while since I've used it and it has this lens on it, which it's like wide angle, like all my older videos, you can zoom in and it looks like that, so yeah. It's been a while since I've used this wireless mic. As you guys have probably gathered from um, the video and the intro of the video thus far, I'm doing a review on Adidas. Like which Adidas shoe is my favorite, something along those lines. I have a bunch of shoes as you can see here. Those were the shoes. I told you guys last time that these were my favorite shoes that I've been skating. These have lasted me the longest for the booznets. I keep meaning to cut the tongue off. There's like a little thing right there. It tells you to cut the tongue off if you don't want those super loud tongues. Loud tongues. These are my longest lasting shoes so far, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're my favorite. Some of these shoes, these are my first time getting them, so I've never tried skating them. So I thought it could be fun to like go skate and try some out and then tell you guys which ones I like the most. I just started skating these ones and I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, I took them all out of their boxes, so I'm not 100% sure which shoes are which. I'll figure that out. I skated these for the first time two days ago and I really, really liked them. So I want to get a session in them and kind of, I'm just gonna freaking skate everything. I've been having so much trouble with my YouTube channel lately with getting demonetized, getting old claims on like random videos from years and years and years ago. The videos getting deleted. I'm disputing like old, old, old community guideline strikes that are just now popping up on my channel for my old videos. I've decided my new plan of attack is to use reverse psychology on YouTube. Maybe if I just fucking swear a lot and I just have like my girlfriend naked blurred out and I use copy written music, maybe YouTube won't demonetize me. We're just living life over here, okay? Hey Ben, yeah. do you want to skate for a little? Uh, yeah, hold on, I have to finish this up. Okay. There's only one way to warm up when you come to Lake Street and you have to ride down this first try. Okay. Don't jump off! No! Oh! 
got that, I got that. It's not scary at all until you're right here. You're focusing on not hitting the pole. I'm afraid I'm gonna like bend forward and just smack my dome on that. I feel once you get past here, you're chilling. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was pretty fucking weird that I brought a big bag of shoes to the skate park. Now look behind me, there's a big bag of shoes at the skate park. To be completely honest, I don't know what I'm doing in this video. We have a big bag of shoes. What the fuck should I talk about? It's like an in-depth shoe review here, but we get to test them out as well. I'm gonna put each shoe on, skate it for a little bit, talk about the pros and cons. I'm not being paid to make this video, by the way. This isn't an ad, I just ride for Adidas. Like I said, these are my longest lasting shoes. There's no hole that goes all the way through yet. These are the original laces, I had to tie them once. They do the job, they flick the skateboard, they push, you can walk around. Let them check this out. Can your shoes do this? That's what I thought. We're gonna do the tray flip, the kick flip test, the tray flip test, and then the end review. Exhibit A was a kick flip. Caught some nice toe flick there, some nice gripping action. Felt pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna up the test a little bit, go for the tray flip test. When I said I have no idea what I'm doing in this video, I really meant that. I'm kind of making it up as we're going along here. We'll talk about these ones later. These are broken in, so it doesn't count. These are the Addy E's. Fuck, I don't want to skate. These are just so nice. They feel thin. I'm not a huge fan of this material shoe. I really like actual fabric as opposed to canvas or whatever that is. I feel like these might rip kind of quick. You never know until you test them out. They feel light. Alright, I changed my mind. I put them on, I didn't think they're that comfortable. They're actually better than I thought. They feel super thin, like they feel if I skated stairs or something, my ankles would shatter. But you know, they look good. <laughs> Most new shoes I get, I can't kick the first China. It's because they're all like, rigid. This actually will be a good time. I was afraid of that. Make some slight adjustments, we'll see what needs to be done. What's next? Oh, tray flip. Tray flips are easier for some reason. I meant to do that. He's performed better than I thought. Up next! We have the Match Court RX. I've skated the Match Courts before, but they have the toe cap on them. I don't think I've ever skated the no cap Match Courts. You play Fortnite? I do play Fortnite. You play Fortnite? Yeah. Sick. These ones feel better. A lot of you guys know this if you've watched my videos for a while, but I'm like way too particular and OCD when it comes to shoes. It matters a lot how they look. It doesn't even matter how they feel, it matters how they look when I look down. I don't like the shape of them. These are gonna be my shoes I wear to like events or just like being all casual like. The toe cap's too rounded, like the toe piece. This one's all like pointy and nice and that one's round. In my head at least. The test begins! They don't feel right on my feet. Oh no, they skate good. <laughs> my pants don't have a zipper or a button. I don't know if this is appropriate to be filming in like a kid's playground. I actually do skate really good. I may have switched my mind. Okay, we'll bring them on to the final evaluation. We're gonna rank the shoes. The left is being my favorite, the right is being my least favorite. So as of now, those are number one, these are number two. These are going number three just because they skated better than these ones did. But I like the way these look and feel better. There's no like algorithm to what I'm doing. It's a pretty shitty review. I was gonna save these for last, I don't wanna skate them. These are like, I'm, I'm not gonna skate these shoes. These are like my party shoes. The swag shoes. <sighs> One kickflip item. I've decided the booze nets, because they have the booze nets bulk and the other booze nets, and they all feel really good. I hear my voice. I don't want to skate these. Kickflip test! Great shoes all around, but I, I can't skate them. They're too pretty. If they weren't white, they'd go like to the right of the first one, to the left of the boot. They'd go right here. But I'm not skating them, so they stay there. These are the three MCs which I have not skated or worn yet. Why do they put paper in shoes? To like keep the shape. I like these shoes. Look how pointy those are. They're like little fucking witch tits. Wait, witch tits? Yeah, like witch tits. <laughs> For some reason, I just picture witch tits to be all pointy. <laughs> these ones look pointier than those, so I feel like I'm gonna like these ones more. God, that doesn't make any sense. My OCD is kicking in big time right now, but I don't like the brown sole part of it. Like the brown gum on the side. If that was white, I think these would be my favorite shoes. We gonna test them. These just, these feel really good. Wow, I like these. Wow. 
As of now, there's still three pairs left. As of now, these are my favorite. Only complaint I have is I do feel thin. I think they're gonna rip there pretty quick, but I still like them the best. We have a new Lita! A new king has been crowned! You know, like 10 seconds ago when I just said if there's a different colorway, I like them more? We have a different colorway. I'm not gonna skate these. I'm gonna keep these new just so I have new shoes in the future, but exact same shoe, the 3MC. This is my favorite shoe. We have a new, new king. A new king has been rethrown. I didn't even know I had these. These are just newer versions of the booze nets over there. Big, fat-ass tongue. They just feel so much sturdier, and like if you cut the tongue and they don't look like that. Oh yeah, it's like sticking my foot into a... <laughs> Say that here. It's like sticking my foot into a pillow, okay? I feel like I'm walking on boobies. I just feel like I can do backflips in these. They're backflipping shoes. They're not as like witch titty, but they still feel good. I'm not gonna lie, this is an honest review, and uh, they're not skating the way that they feel like they should be. I'm sure that's my fault, not the shoes, but I wanna blame the shoes. Never my fault. Oh! I don't know quite what it is. I can't put my finger on it. They don't flick the way that I feel like they should. I feel like I'm doing a game show. I'm sorry, Booze Nets, but you are eliminated. I was gonna put them to the right of these, but they're already there. Performance-wise, they go there. Feeling-wise, they're, the, they're the best. They feel the best. It's a very convoluted system I have going on. It doesn't make any sense, but it's gonna work, okay? Miles Silva is one of my favorite skaters. These are the ones I'm skating currently. They're super comfortable. They're like up there with the Booze Nets. They go in between these. Even though this is this, these look better and they feel better than these. Therefore, that goes there. Which means this goes there and that's to go here and according to the quadratic formula x equals mc minus 4ab and according to the quadrilateral pythagorean theorem that means that c is 63. That's why those go there. All the shoes are starting to look the same. These are the booze nets bulk but for different material. Yeah, those are like... They're leather. Yeah. Yeah, like a little different material. We're gonna get these ones a whirl. These are just like normal shoe. Wait. I've never had a booze net shoe that I don't like. Yeah, they feel good. Not a huge fan of the gray on white. Ooh, those hats don't flick to one, I'm not saying. <laughs> this video sucks. It's the shoes, it's not my fault with the shoes. I'm sure you learned a lot in this video and I'm super glad you watched it. I'm sure you're just as glad as I am. They feel good, they look good. They just didn't meet my skating expectations. These are going right there. So the winner is the 3MCs. Oh yeah, because these, the 3MCs are the winner. These felt the best skating. I'm going to skate these and enjoy them the most. These were the second most comfortable shoes. These were the third most comfortable shoes, but these ones felt better than these. No, 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 no. These ones skated better than these ones, so those ones got ahead of it. Thumbs up the video because this was super educational and I'm sure you learned more than uh, school. School did to you too. I hope you really enjoyed the little kids screaming in the background. Uh, this is just all around like really high quality work that I'm super proud of. This is what happened when you try to get a video done in like 20 minutes before it rains. It's been too long since I've uploaded, okay? My channel's fucking getting demolished from the inside out thanks to YouTube's algorithm demonetizing everything and claiming my shit, so. All jokes aside, guys, uh, I really do appreciate all the support that I'm getting on Instagram while I've not been uploading on YouTube. Once LA finally stops raining, we'll have some real content. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.